Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 19th of 2023 and I'd like to bring another word to you from the Lord today. There may be many of you who are feeling discouraged and have a heaviness upon you. But that is not the Lord's will for you. The Lord wants us to experience fullness of joy, an abundant life. And in this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that he's bringing us into that kind of joy. I hope you will be blessed hearing this word today. This word is titled, A Release of Joy. I'll begin reading it. Great is the Lord, and great is his faithfulness to all those who keep his commandments. A river is rushing and gushing forth throughout the land. Life and liberty are in the waters. Those who are getting into the river and going with its flow are being transformed into the likeness of the Lord. They are basking in the waters, rejoicing in their God, for he has come to rescue them, to set them free from every affliction. They are being released into the fullness of joy in this hour, and nothing is able to quench what the Lord is doing. Multitudes are entering into the river. Multitudes are being washed by the presence of the Lord in the waters. Whole households are coming into the life-giving flow. They are being pulled in by the power of my spirit. And I am doing a mighty work in their hearts and lives. They are surrendering themselves to the Lord, willingly letting go of strongholds over their lives. They are experiencing great change in their attitude toward the Heavenly Father. They see that He is a loving Father and that His children are blessed. They can see that the joy of the Lord is their strength and there is no mountain too great that they cannot climb. I am imparting greater depths of my joy into my people, says the Lord. You will see a great outpouring of joy in the assembly. I am taking my people on and into deeper waters. Every fear, every fret will be washed away. Nothing will hold them back from entering into the fullness of my joy. You will see this amongst yourselves, that the power of my presence is increasing, that you are being stretched to great capacity to receive what the Father is pouring out in this day. Those who have longed for more will receive more, for the Father has an abundance available for those who would ask. Ask the Father to release the joy of the Lord into your life. Ask Him to open the windows of heaven. He sees your weakness, your inability to go on without His fullness, and He is waiting for you to ask for it, for it is the Father's desire that you be released into life abundant. He desires to set you into heavenly places with Him, to minister His love and grace into every area of your life. He wants to give you His desires and a heart that follows after Him. For He is leading His people into the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey, where there is no lack, where every need is supplied. Lay everything at his feet and step forward into the waters of life. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Do not say in your heart that the Father does not care for you, that he has forgotten you. 
He longs for you. His arms are outstretched to you day and night. Commit yourself to him. Commit your ways to him. Do not lean on your own understanding. Do not put your trust in your own abilities and understanding, but put your trust in the Lord your God. He will direct your path. He will gird you up so that you do not trip and fall. He will cause you to prosper in the land that he will give you, for his benefits are beyond count. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that he cares for us, that he wants to lift our heavy burdens and give us joy, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. He is inviting us to come into the river of life that he is releasing in this day. Every fear, every fret, Every concern will be washed away in these waters of life, and every need will be met. The Lord is encouraging us that he has not forgotten his people, that as we put our trust in him, he will direct our path because he wants to prosper us with all the benefits that are ours in Christ Jesus. This is a short word today, but it is an encouragement to those who have been doubting the goodness of God, who have been struggling to get through the trials and challenges in life, to those who have been carrying a heavy weight. And there are those from the outside looking in who can see that our God is a loving Heavenly Father who wants to bless his children. My prayer today is that we will all enter this river of life, that we will not hesitate to take hold of all that God has for us, that we will receive these life-giving waters, and that we will be filled with the joy of the Lord. The scriptures tell us to rejoice to lift up our heavy hands, to look to the Lord for our strength. May we do so, and may we receive all that he has for us in this day. I hope this word today has encouraged you to look up, to abandon the troubles round about us, to put our trust in God and lean not on our own understanding. May we all receive what the Lord is pouring out in this day. Be blessed, be encouraged. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Have a great afternoon. Bye for now.